Josephine and I here in Normandy. It's a sunny, cloudy sort of day and it's very windy. You can hear in the background quite a lot of chicken noises going on and this film is interesting and we look at a time when the forest garden was eerily silent. It's some footage that I took some 18 months ago when we were in the, on the outskirts, the outer rim of Hurricane Ophelia and didn't know whether it was coming this way and it was very interesting to look at the chicken and the quail and the pigeons the way they behaved. It's a subject I find fascinating and I'll be going over it again but from a different angle in a future film. The next film I'm going to do though is one which I hope will answer some questions that I've already been asked several times about how we started the forest garden and I hope it's going to show that you can do it on a very very limited budget because that's what we have and talking of that if anybody's interested in supporting this site you can always buy me a coffee all contributions will be very very gratefully accepted so here's the film It's just after 3 p.m. and I don't know whether you can see but it's really quite dark and the sky is changing from yellow to grey all the time. We've had no rain but we are in the out, outer circle of Hurricane Ophelia which is hitting Ireland at the moment very badly and it's been across the Breton coast as well which is just across the bay from us and I thought it's interesting to look at the birds because they are reacting very strangely they're all flat to the ground they there's one or two like Snuggles Captain Snuggles there who is trying to do something about it and show that he's not scared but nobody's inside the hen houses the chicken coops they're all out and they usually do that when there's a hurricane coming and looking on the satellite it seems to be moving <laughs> back out to sea again so and the wind's changing direction as well so we've had some incredibly hot days it was 25 yesterday and the funny thing was we were going to put a roof window in this morning we decided at the last minute that it probably wasn't a good idea so we decided not to bother <laughs> I really want to get up on the roof but the sky is really strange and they say that the red in it although you can't see it very well but I took some film earlier and you will see it in that that it's the dust from the Sahara that's being pushed up and carried along just feel some slight drops of rain and this eerie quietness as well and even Woodley rescue pigeons come down as well normally he's high up in the trees but he's obviously getting worried it's funny how birds and animals know more about things than we do well rather than the weatherman does because it's not showing anything on the weather at the moment it's just like oh might be cloudy today but this is a really eerie light so we'll have a look that everybody's that's just what everybody's feeling very nervous nobody's in any of the coops and that's always a good sign that something bad is going on in the weather because they don't like being inside they're obviously afraid that something could happen and they're uh, they're happier outside they're happier close to the ground in fact if we go up into the foresty bit the orchard you'll see it they're lying flat on the ground there these ones are they're not even oh yeah there are some actually in the tree in the hedge there but mostly they're on the ground they obviously feel safer with their feet on the ground quail is quails are flat too nobody's doing anything 
they're just in their little made their little nests in the ground and they've they've actually buried themselves in there. I put those chestnut leaves in uh, yesterday and uh, because I wanted some winter warmth for them. I haven't closed up the top yet so because it's been so warm. Done some planting in the greenhouse for over winter. I'm just doing some tidying here in this big flower border. I've got my chicks inside unfortunately because we've got hawk problems. So I don't let them out when I'm not out in any way today. Here's a little mother and a chick. They're down flat on the ground. The others are up in the tree. I can see some up in the trees. But again, not high up, just low down. I know you've got to be inside, but it's for your own good. Don't you get in eaten by a hawk. Normally they should be out now, I'd be out in the garden with them, but I'm worried it's really going to pour it down with rain. Oh dear, they don't like it. What have we got here? You okay? Yeah, little chicks down on the ground. Where's your mummy? Are you separated from your mummy? What are you doing? Oh no, your mummy's there, that's okay. Pigeons down on the ground there as well. Yeah, they've come out of the houses. There's the chickens on the ground as well. You can see up in the orchards it's really strange the light. Pigeons down. Well okay. Everybody okay? They're just under bushes. It's like, I mean, if it was rain, going to rain, they would all go in the hen house. Normally they'd think, oh, well, it's going to rain, but they don't trust it. Have a look, see if we can see the sky. The sky is weird. It's just a weird colour. It, it's unfortunate it's not coming out very well here, but it's orange. <laughs> it's sort of, well, it looks like it's sandy coloured. And the thing is, it, it goes it goes okay again, and then within a few minutes, it's back. And if you look on the satellite, you can see the swirls of this outer ring of Ophelia hurricane that we're getting all the time. And it seems to be out at sea. It looked terrible. Oh, I'll show you the ones we took earlier <laughs> towards the sea, but it was weird. So what have we got here yet? Yeah. All on the floor, are we okay? On the floor, oh, the pigeons are in the, but the chickens are on the floor. There's some more pigeons there on the floor. And pigeons under there. And the mother and, oh, mother and chicks there. They're all right, good. No pigeons just walking about on the floor. And pigeons are just... Nobody wants to be on the roof, obviously. I mean, normally this time of day, everybody would be sitting in the trees. In fact, they've been under the tree. They came out for their breakfast when I came around with the breakfasts. But since then, and nobody's high. Oh, yeah, there's the wood pigeon. He's gone in the tree, but again, low down in the tree. So, it's just a, a mini garden tour of what's going on at the moment. Oh, 
I just saw this this larger white chick, this hen's got five chicks all together and this little white chick was just it's got its head in the hurdles right underneath as if it was trying to hide so that's a bit strange too. Now it's under its mummy. Where's your other babies? Oh here are your other babies. You're not going to be able to get them all underneath you though are you? They're all too big now. Yes. You've gone back to mummy haven't you? Don't blame you. So they're hiding under bushes. What are you doing? You're all right, aren't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're sweet. And the morning glories are out because it's so dark. <laughs> They're afternoon glories. We're going and look at the quails. See how they're doing. I'm just planting up these greenhouses again. Just started on the watercress bed. This is just some recuperated watercress. How are you doing? How are you all doing? I know it's frightening. It is frightening. How are you two? So, do you think it's night? Yes, you want your dinner. You think it's dinner time, don't you? That's all you think. See those? Your friends have gone to bed. They're not bothered. The ones in the corner, they've all gone to bed. I think they've given up on today. They've decided it's bedtime. Or is it siesta? Three in the afternoon siesta. It's a good job I put all this stuff in. I'm getting here. They love these chestnut leaves. And we went to gather chestnuts at a friend's place the day before yesterday and I gathered some leaves as well. I'm hoping it's passing now because they're coming out. They're doing a bit more, oh you're all looking a bit better now. And the wind's getting up again. Still a bit subdued. Still this strange sky. 